marginal likelihood for Poisson distribution. Dixie, the probability density function of Poisson distribution, lambda s over x, exponential minus lambda divided by x factorial, where the x is the random variable, which will run from 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. And then the mean of the distribution is lambda, and the variance of the distribution is lambda. In summary, the parameter of the distribution is lambda. Now we're trying to look for the maximum likelihood for the distribution. Now, the first step, step one, um, take the likelihood. Take the likelihood. And you know that we're going to have a likelihood of f of lambda comma x1 comma x2 comma dot 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 xn equals to uh, i minus from 1 to n lambda raised to power x exponential minus lambda all divided by divided by x factorial so it means this is going to affect the whole distribution and what this trait is this is going to give us we have a lambda raised to power summation x why we have summation x is because we are having x and for x1 x2 x n so in adding everything together to sum up and give a solution x, then we have exponential minus n lambda divided by x factorial. We already have this, we're taking the likelihood of the distribution. Now I move to step two. Step two. So take the natural law. Take the natural law. And the natural law of this will have been of the likelihood f of lambda comma x1 comma x2 comma dot 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 x in will equal to mean of the whole means, which is a lambda x power x, summation x rather, exponential minus n lambda. Divided by this um, x factorial. So from here now we have this is equal to. So we have a mean lambda summation x plus mean exponential minus n lambda. Now this is going to be minus minus a likelihood of x factorial. Now we have this, we can write this in this one. Say lean or why not write it this way? Say summation x lean lambda. Lean is the inverse of exponential. So this two will go. I will use of minus n lambda, then minus lean likelihood of our x factorial. Now that we simplify this in this formula, now we we'll move to step three. Step three. Take differentiate. Differentiate. We're going to differentiate this with respect to to the parameter and do not forget the parameter is lambda so it means we're going to have the, the whole of this uh, mean like linear f of x parameter x1 x2 comma dot dot xn divided by the lambda equals to we are differentiating this with respect to lambda. At the moment we differentiate this, we're going to have summation x multiplied by one over lambda. Then differentiate minus n lambda with respect to lambda. So we're going to have just minus n. Then here we have nothing to do we have nothing to do with this because there is no parameter here. So this will give us minus 
plus the zero. So in this case, we are having solution x over lambda minus n plus the four equate equate to zero. So here we're going to have solution x over lambda equal minus a equals to zero. And this will give us solution x over lambda equals to n. And the final step is a step five. So for the parameter. So for the parameter. By the time we solve for the parameter, we just need this lambda to be the subject. And by the time we make this subject, we're going to have a lambda equals to solution x over n. So it means, in summary, the maximum likelihood of Poisson distribution is lambda equals to solution x over n, or rather, we put it as lambda equals to x bar. It means the maximum likelihood of Poisson distribution is still mean. And this lambda stand for mean, it means mean is mean. And we should not forget that lambda also stands for variance when it comes to when it comes to Poisson distribution. Thank you for watching.